Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's April and in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impressions. It's not a full face, but I have a new primer, a new foundation, concealer, a new mascara that I've never tried before, and I'm gonna test out the shades that I've never that I haven't used yet in the Alyssa Edwards palette. And then I'm finally testing out the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I've shockingly never used before. So let's get on into it. So first I'm gonna be going in with the Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Primer by Philosophy. I think that's the name of the brand, or it might be called something different. This is a line correcting primer. So I don't really have like super bad lines, but I do have like these um, lines in my forehead and like around here just a little bit. I know I'm only 18 years old, but <laughs> still have them. So I'm gonna put the uh, put it up here. And then I'm also going to put it around my non-existent smile lines, because I don't know, maybe that'll do something. It's a, it's pretty dimethicone so it's almost, I know it's supposed to be for wrinkles, but I think it w could also help for, like, pores. Let me check. Yeah, it's smoothing in my pores, too, so I'm actually going to put a little bit on my nose to see. Yeah, it does really, you can use this for pores, too, definitely. And I'm going to put some right around here. I do think it's a very smoothing primer. I wouldn't necessarily say it could be just used for like wrinkles or fine lines. I think it could be used for just like a regular smoothing primer because it feels like a lot of the smoothing primers I already have. So, I mean, it's your total preference, but it does, it is blurring right up here a lot. Um, not where I can't see it at all. And then I put out my nose and I can't really see my pores. And then it's working really well to smooth out right here, even though I don't really have, like, necessarily fine lines right here. I do get, like, a lot of pores around here, and it's helping with that. And then it's helping kind of smooth out up here where I get some pretty deep eye bags because I'm always tired. So next I'm going to go in with the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie um, Longwear Foundation and Concealer. I'm only going to be using this as a foundation today, so I had a very, very small sample size of it, and I used it. I can't remember how I feel about this foundation. I also think this shade is going to be too dark for me. Also, the lid on this, I think, is really weird. Like, it's such a tiny lid. Um, I got LN2, and I know that the sample shade that I got was lighter, so hopefully this will still work for me. I'm going to put this out onto my hand, probably like, I know it's pretty full coverage, so I'm just going to do two pumps, I think. There we go. I think I remember liking this with a foundation brush, and then liking it when I, like, smoothed it out with a sponge, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, just finished watching the seventh season of... Arrow on Netflix and I gotta say I'm a little disappointed um this is like a weird nitpicky thing about tv shows but I really hate it when they use like bad CGI that's just like kind of tossed in there like they they obviously like don't care about it as much as like the rest of their uh, as like the rest of the show so a lot of this season needs CGI and I feel like the, just the effort is not there in that area and it just annoys me it's not like that big of a deal but that part annoys me and then I feel like it's it like got really I don't know soap opera-y in the middle of the season I'm not gonna ruin anything but it's just kind of disappointing to me but um the last season is coming out soon so I think I'm gonna really like it hopefully it's better than this season like it's not necessarily like I hate it but I don't love this season. Next, I'm going to go in with the uh, new Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Um, it looks like a little little pencil. This is like a perfect time to bring this out also because it's like back to school and everything. Um, so I think this is a matte concealer. I have it in shade 1. Um, I know that like all our other concealers, shade 1 is like pretty dark so I'm not even sure if this is gonna it's really peachy uh, yeah, it's 
pretty peachy, but I think I can make it work. It's not like too bad. It doesn't look bad on camera. It looks kind of, eh, it'll be fine. I'm just going out with friends tonight. They won't care at all. So now I'm going to blend that out. The foundation's also looking really good as well. It's, um, from what I can tell, a pretty natural finish, which I like. Because, like, sometimes I really like, like, the dewy foundations, but they don't, like, even though I have dry skin, they don't, like, last as long just because of how dewy they are. They just break up on the skin pretty quickly, in my opinion. But when I want it to be long-wearing, I like using a natural foundation that has a lot of staying power. And then it looks really pretty. And then I usually use like a liquid highlighter to make it more dewy. I like using like the stick highlighter from Becca. That's like, it's like the glaze thing. It's from their Skin Love line. And it helps making things look like dewy and not necessarily like highlighted. So the shade is working for me. The shade is working for me. Um... It, I can already tell it's really matte, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. Because um, I usually don't like matte concealers, besides the NARS um, soft matte concealer. That one's great. Um, but I'll probably just end up using this on the face if I end up not liking it. Because um, I like using matte concealers on the face because they last a really long time. So next I'm just going to set my under eyes with the e.l.f. powder. I've already used this before, but I didn't have any uh, new powders to test out. I'm not going to set the rest of my face, just because I want to keep that natural finish of the Pure Concealer. just want to set this down so I don't get any creasing on my under eyes. And then I'm also going to use the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. Next, I'm actually not going to use any blush today. I just don't feel like it. Next, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter that I haven't used before, but I opened for some reason. So, it's called You Glow Girl. Um, so I've never used a loose highlighter before. Um, I know they're like supposed to be like super blinding, so I'm, I, I just poured a bit into the lid. I'm just going to take you know, a very... Little bit. Oh, that's really glittery, but it does look pretty. I just don't know if this would be like an. I don't know if this would be like an everyday highlighter, just because it is real glittery, but it is really pretty. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like um, a rose gold color, and it's not like too dark for my skin tone, which I really like. Because normally, like, these tones are usually end up too dark. So on camera, it looks really, really pretty. But in person, you can see, like, all these, like, little glitter flecks. But I'm not sure if I hate that or not. So, because it's not necessarily, it's not, like, emphasizing, like, any texture on my cheeks. Because I do definitely have texture in that area, and it's not emphasizing it as bad as, like, my Becca highlighters would. So, I'll get back to you on that. So, before I go to eyes, I'm actually going to put on this new chapstick I got. It's from Sun Bomb. It's the Coco Bomb. It's actually, like, really good. Because I I get, like, split lips right here, no matter, like, what season it is. Because I have dry skin, but my lips are, like, the Sahara Desert. So, I'm going to put this on. This one has, um, aloe and coconut oil, and it's in Ocean Mint. I usually, like, really like, um, lip balms that have mint in it because, I don't know, the tingling makes me feel like it's doing something or whatever. <laughs> so next I'm going to use the, um, Alyssa Edwards palette. So I've used all of the warm tones, so I've used, like, um, and the white. So I've used, like, Headliner, Inspire, The Supreme, um, H-O-E. <laughs> Um, and then I've used the two pinks, the Texas Made and Beyond, and then back rolls. So the ones that I haven't used, I also have used the yellow as well, which I really don't like the yellow in this palette because it's super light and I can never get it to show up on my eyes no matter what I do, whether I set my primer on my eyelids or not, whether I use one or not. So 
So far that's the only one I don't like. So the ones I haven't used are like the purples and um, like so all of these, the blue, the purple, and the black. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do an all matte look. No. no. So I'm going to do a purple look. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the blue in this, but I'm definitely going to try to use all the purple shades. So first I'm going to go into Unicorn Tribe, which is, sorry, this one right up here. Hello. And then I'm just going to put this in my crease as a transitions shade. That's blending pretty well. I've heard that these colors are, can be kind of patchy, especially the blue, so that's why I'm kind of hesitant to use it. I'm like that type of person to where if I see a review and they're like, this shade is patchy, that means I never want to use it like in a subconscious thing. I don't know what it is. But I try not to be really affected by them. So yeah, this one's blending out really nice. It's a nice darker transition color because it's not like the lightest ever, but I like how it's kind of like pink, a pinky purple as well. Yeah, that's blended out pretty well. Next, I'm going to take Believe, which is that, um, this purple in the palette. And this brush is like really stained. It's not dirty. So I'm actually going to take it, a lot of it, and I'm going to kind of pack it up into the crease and then blend it out. So I'm going to pack it up in there on both sides. I'm going to take that fluffy brush that I used earlier and blend that out. I'm not sure if I want to go all matte or not either. I don't know. Wherever it takes me, you know? So now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush that I was using earlier and to blend it out. This was one of the shades that they said was hard to blend out as well. Yeah, it's being a little stubborn, but not like, I wouldn't say it's patchy. It just, you know, like takes a minute to blend out, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to put, I'm going to take some more. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is patchy. It just takes a little bit of effort, which is not a bad thing if you if you want to like take that extra time. Um it's just some people won't want to take that extra time because like I would never use this shade if I want a quick colorful look. You know what I mean? Like if I want a quick colorful look, I'm going to use a different and I want it purple, I'm going to use a different purple. But that doesn't mean this purple is not good. Because I do like how it's blending out. Especially with this lighter transition color. Giving like a nice soft fade that I really like. So now I'm going to go back into that, that lighter purple and I'm just going to blend some more. See, like I said, this is just a shadow that you have to work with. But purples are hard to formulate, so, yeah. So I'm liking it so far. I really, I like the, the lighter purple shade better. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pack that dark, that, not dark blue, this like royal blue color on my lid, and then I'm going to take the DDG, which I think is her studio's name. I might be wrong. I might be totally wrong. So I'm going to pack this on the lid, and then I'm going to put this uh, shimmer shade in the center, I think. Then I'm indecisive today. I don't know why I'm saying today. I'm always indecisive. So I'm just going to take like a flat shader brush and pack on this matte blue. After I pack this matte blue on, I'm also going to blend it up in the crease. I should have done my eyes first. Should have done my eyes first. I'm actually not getting a lot of fallout, but I still should have done my eyes first. 
I don't know. I think I always like forget to do my eyes first if like I'm using it, if I'm doing a more colorful look just because it's like out of habit when you're doing like the simple one and done looks you always do I always do my face first so I always forget whenever I'm doing using a palette that has the potential of fallout I always forget to actually think about it so now I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush again and blend it out and then I'm gonna take that purple on the smaller brush some more of that dark purple and blend it in with the blue if I can find where that brush jumped off to my brush has abandoned ship oh I found it <laughs> A lot of my brushes like look exactly the same like the wet and wild brushes so um I was like I'm like shuffling around like where's my brush so I'm gonna take that dark blue shade I mean dark blue dark purple shade again and blend it in with the blue just to create that nice gradient I don't know what it is I'm not liking this for some reason I don't know what it is I'm like it's not it's not the blendability that I'm having an issue with I just can't figure out what I'm not exactly vibing with in this look I don't know if I chose like too dark of colors maybe that's why I don't know I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing like I said I'm going out with my friends tonight they won't care I've probably shown up worse anyway. So now I'm going to go into that um, bright, like, purple, indigo, blue, DDG. Um, it's a shimmer shade. I'm actually going to spray my brush with the Urban Decay setting spray, the All Nighter. Which, for some reason, I have not tried until now. Like, I don't know. Maybe I've always thought it's too expensive, and then one day I was just like, I want this. Um... I think it's also the alcohol content so that has bothered me so I'm gonna put this on the like beginning parts of my lid I don't know what it is I'm not liking this for some reason I don't know what it is I'm like it's not it's not the blendability that I'm having an issue with I just can't figure out what I'm not exactly vibing with in this look. I don't know if I chose like too dark of colors. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm going out with my friends tonight. They won't care. I've probably shown up worse anyway. So now I'm gonna go into that um, bright like purple indigo blue DDG. Um, it's a shimmer shade. I'm actually going to spray my brush with the Urban Decay setting spray, the All Nighter, which for some reason I have not tried until now. Like, I don't know. Maybe I've always thought it's too expensive and then one day I was just like, I want this. I mean, so I'm going to put this on the like beginning parts of my lid and like blend it out. You know what? I think it's that blue that's bothering me. It's like not as bright like look how bright this is like that's blue bright blue and it's not like the camera that's making it this dark and muted it really is that dark and muted on my lid it's just like not what like when I look at a palette I want it to be what it is in the palette so I think that's what's bothering me <laughs> I just like held my mirror backwards like Yeah, I'm just not liking this blue. I mean, like, the rest of the palette is, like, pretty good. It's just this blue is all funky. To me, at least. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just putting, actually, most of this shimmer shade over that matte blue now, because I just don't like it. I'm probably never going to use that shade like ever again. So now I'm going to 
blend this out some more. Probably take some more purple. Yeah, once I covered that blue up with the shimmer blue, it looks great. It still looks really dark on camera. I need to get like better lighting. Um, so next I'm going to go into the dark black in the palette, Beast. And just kind of lightly um, line my eyes with it. I don't want to do like a big wing or anything. Oh, maybe I do. Do I want to do a wing with this? I did it again! I put my mirror up the wrong way thinking I was going to be able to see. Do I want to do a wing? No, I don't want to do a wing. So I'm going to do just a little bit of the black shadow right around the base of my lid, just on the outer edge. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. And then I'm going to blend it out to make that blend into the other shadows. Yeah, so I really like this palette, but not this shade. And not this shade. So it's not my favorite Anastasia palette, unfortunately. I would say my favorite is, oh, it's so hard to choose. I really like Soft Glam. Like, normally I would say Modern Renaissance because it was my first high-end palette. But I've been really, like, digging into Soft Glam. Um, but I have hit pan on multiple shadows in the Modern Renaissance. That's why I would... Like, it's either Soft Glam or Modern Renaissance is, like, my holy grail palette, but I'm not really sure now which one I like the best. But actually, I think this is probably my least favorite Anastasia palette. Like, I like it, but this is definitely not my favorite. I'm gonna dust away the fallout under my eyes. Hopefully it'll just go away. I'm actually gonna take more of that e.l.f. powder, too, to try to get it to go away. Really, it wasn't that bad. Like fallout wise it wasn't too bad and it also was the shade I didn't like that really had the fallout it was the blue I think it's because I noticed whenever I like try to pack it on matte shades that's when I get fallout otherwise I really never have problems with it sometimes the Anastasia shimmers can have fallout but if you if that's if you don't spray your brush if you spray your brush there's really like no problem. At least with me. I know some people have different experiences, especially with the Anastasia shadows. I think it's maybe like how light I go in with it, because I usually don't grab too much on my on my brush, and then I just go back in like 15 million times. So next I'm going to try out the semi-new Too Faced mascara. What's it called? Damn Girl. So I also have the Better Than Sex. It's my holy grail. I just don't know if I want to repurchase it because that's expensive. So this one has like an hourglass brush. I need to throw it away soon. It's like running out really badly. So it has an hourglass brush and I think it's like kind of a wet formula. Not too bad because I've had some that are like absolutely horrible. But that one's a pretty wet mascara. And I think I remember somebody saying this was a wettish mascara as well. So this one, here, I'm actually going to compare brush sizes since I have them both here. This one is like a little bit bigger, not by much, um, but it has a fluffier top to it than that one. And it does look more clumpy, which isn't a bad thing, I, I don't think, all the time, but it looks clumpier. I don't know. So let me, let me do this. Let's see what I think. I usually don't purchase high-end mascaras, but since I liked the Too Faced one so much, I thought, why not? I just think that if you're, if it, like, plenty of people have said this before, but if there's a place that you want to cut corners, really, um drugstore mascara is a way to cut corners of not buying high-end. I love the Essence Lash Princess, all three of them. The um, the, the blue is the waterproof one, the green is like my favorite personally, but I do like the other ones. I think the other one's like pink and then green, I think, but those are probably like my other favorite mascaras besides the Too Faced. They give a similar effect. 
but those are $4.99 instead of, what, $23, I think? So, I mean, I really don't see the point of just continuing to, like, purchase really high-end stuff when I could use that money somewhere else or on a different, um, different makeup item that maybe I wanted to try out that's new. Or I could just purchase a bunch of mascaras, like, at the same time, like, a bunch of essence mascaras. That would be, like, uh, five essence, four or five essence mascaras. I actually wasn't going to do anything on the lower lash line, but I changed my mind. I want to. Um, so I, it's going to be, like, really simple. I'm just going to take that light purple transition shade Unicorn Tribe and push it underneath just a little bit. I know I already put on bottom mascara, but I had a change of heart real quick. I just wanted a little bit def a little bit of definition. I thought it looked a little top heavy on the eyes. And then I'm going to take the dark purple just a little bit right at right at the edges. Sometimes I'm so light-handed in my shadow, I'm pretty sure like I miss the shadow. Like I don't even touch it. I just like pretend to touch it. <laughs> and then I'm actually, I also wasn't going to do this, but I said I'm going to take that headliner white shade in it and I'm just going to do my brow bone a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then I'm also going to actually do a little bit on the inner corners just to brighten that up just a bit. Because I'm trying to make it like not so heavy. Yeah, that helped to like bring some life to it, adding that white. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do my brows. So I'm going to do my normal thing with my brows because I don't have anything new. I'm going to do all of the Urban Decay stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them today just because I don't really feel like it, but um, I am going to use the brow blade and the powders at least. I keep dropping stuff all over the floor today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been also thinking about doing a video of like how I do my brows, but like I don't know if I want to because my brows aren't that good. And I feel like putting out a video like that would be like my my brows are like so good. You all you all, you guys all want to know how my brows are, but I just don't know if I'm like if my brows are good enough for that. Like, th this isn't how heavy I usually go. I usually also use the other end of the brow blade, the little micro, the little marker thing at the end to get, like, the microbladed effect. I just didn't feel like using it today because sometimes it takes, like, a little bit of extra effort that I don't feel like doing today. Um, but I've been, I don't know. I feel, like, self-conscious about my brows, which is, like, a weird thing, but I feel like they're, like, so bushy. To the point where I'm not even sure if I like them or not. So, I, I, I don't know. And I don't know how much, like, what I want to do the video with, like, my everyday brow or my, like, intense brow or do both or, like, I, I don't know. Because, like, I do so many different types of brows just, like, on a variance of am I lazy or am I not lazy? Like, it's just the amount of effort that I want to put in. But the most effort, I'm not even sure if I totally like doing those big, bold, bushy brows, even though they're, like, in, I'm not sure if I necessarily like them. So, overall, the face is looking really nice. Um, it's got a little bit blue shadow around my nose. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just tap my creases out. Of um, especially the foundation. Like, I knew I liked this foundation, um... I was pretty sure I liked it, even though I couldn't necessarily remember exactly how I felt about it. I knew I necessar I liked it, at least. But I really like how it's not necessarily super dewy. And then the concealer, 
it's just so matte like this is just a face concealer probably for me um also I'm probably gonna try out because this it, this pure foundation is a concealer as well so if you pull up there's a concealer doe foot I know I'm gonna love this underneath the eyes like just how it looks on the face like I should have just gone and used that but this is just a little bit too matte for me um but I I probably would like this on the face I just didn't have very many blemishes I guess I did have that one I didn't even notice that till now but um this that would be a good one on the face it's also not full coverage um because you can still see that darkness it's also emphasized I've noticed that it um dark circles get emphasized um, if you're wearing medium coverage concealer when you're wearing purple on the eyes just because it brings out the purple underneath the eyes or the blue underneath the eyes. Um, but I do like how this has kind of a peachy undertone which is supposed to like counteract um, under eye circles. I also really like the like packaging. It's just, I don't know. I really like how it's like you're erasing your under eyes but I don't know if it completely erases mine. And then I already told y'all my thoughts about the Alyssa Edwards palette. Not my favorite, probably my least favorite Anastasia palette. I don't have subculture, but I really want to purchase it just to see if like, if it's really that bad. I also don't have sultry as well, but everybody loves that one. So I'm sure once I purchase that one, I'll definitely enjoy it, I think. Um, but yeah, I think that's my least favorite. Also, once I collect collect the rest of them because I'm going to do an order on Anastasia's website to get the last two because I'm only missing two. Um, I'll do like a ranking video once I try those out as well. Um, and then the You Glow Girl. I, I like this. I th I'm pretty sure I like this. I just, I don't know if it's an everyday highlighter just because of the glitter, but also I don't really care about if it's everyday or not. Like this, this is an everyday look for me. Like obviously I don't really care enough about what other people think like if it's professional or not like I'd wear this to work I don't really my work doesn't have strict rules about what makeup um we wear because nobody really cares about what makeup you wear um but yeah I I would wear it again and it does I like how it doesn't emphasize texture and then the Too Faced Damn Girl I don't know it gives me a lot of length more than the better than sex but I'm not sure if I like this one better than better than sex I, I think I'm gonna keep trying this out just cuz I'm just not sure it depends on what vibe you're going for are you going for the really long lash look or are you going for like the I have a lot of lashes look I also got to do lips I forgot about that I have two lip liners that I haven't used that much um, but I'm not sure which one. This one looks like I've used it that much. A lot. Uh, I'm gonna use this Sephora one. I've only used this once before. Um, it's like, uh, I saw it, it was like at the end of the counter and it was like, Impulse, buy me now. Cause this is $6 I believe. And it's in the shade Nude Beige. But it's like they only come in this size. They're travel size pencils. So, like, if I like this, do I just keep buying travel size pencils? But, like, I guess two of these would be, like, a normal pencil, which would only be $12. So, it's still, I would say, a pretty good deal. And then I'm also going to use a shade... Well, I don't even know if I want to go for this. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for it. Um, this is Stripped by Anastasia. I've used that shade before. Um, I'm actually... <laughs> not talk when I line my lips, sorry. What I was going to say is I'm not sure if I necessarily like this shade on me. Cause it's like a it's like so nude that I'm not sure if I like it or not. Sometimes it gives me like you're a dead corpse look, but then sometimes I like like it so Also with these, these Anastasia ones, I am like totally chill with them with, um, if I put a chapstick on underneath like I did earlier. Well, 
these don't match, but I wanted to try out that lip liner, so I needed something that matched. You know, I'm actually going to go grab a gloss. I'm kind of torn between these two glosses. I really haven't used this one before, and I guess it kind of matches, but I'm not sure if it'll look good with this. You know what, screw that. I'm going to try it. And then if I don't like it, I'll just remove it after this video and try something else. Um, so I'm also going to take the ColourPop um, Kathleen Lights lipstick in What's Your Sign, just on the middle. Because I know I like this combination. And I think it'll help with everything. I actually, I purchased this Buxom lip gloss in Savannah from um, TJ Maxx. Um, I think you can still get it on their website. Remember, I think. I checked like a few weeks ago. Um, but this is their like holographic glosses. It's not holographic at all. Um, but this shade is not available on Ulta's website or Sephora's website, but there are still other shades in this line, so I don't know if they're like phasing them out or if it's just this shade. But the applicator sucks. Um, it's kind of making me like not want to use it because I've only used this once or twice because of the applicator. What is this? This was fine when I first got it. I knew it was fine because I had used it and it was fine. And then it became this screwed up bent thing. It's a piece of plastic. That's not a brush. That's a piece of plastic. Like, look. And I'm like, I was trying to like bend it back into place, but I was afraid I'd like might break it. So what I've been doing is like attempting to use it. Like that. I do like that combination though. But like, why is that not a brush at least? Or a Dofa applicator like your other ones? Like why does this one need to have a weird plastic tip when your other lip glosses that I own have brush, I mean, not brush tips, uh, Dofa applicators? Like, no. And then I'm actually going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't know why I've never tried this. It's been on my wish list forever. Um, it does have alcohol in it, which can dry out the skin. Does it actually? Hold on. Let, let me not say, like, say lies. I actually, what? No ingredients? No ingredients. Ingredients. Where are ingredients? I keep boxes for everything, so let me check the box. Okay, I lied. I don't have the box for it. Let me look it up online. Because there's no way they don't have it on, like, Ulta's website. Does this have alcohol in it? Ingredients. Yeah. Denatured alcohol is the second ingredient. So, like, would I wear this that often? No, because I ha alcohol is the second ingredient, and that would dry up my skin. But if this makes my makeup last longer, if I'm doing anything, like, if I'm at work, because I work for a really long time normally, and then I don't take off my makeup until, like... I go to bed so if I work at from 8 to 5 that's a pretty high-paced job like I've said in other videos but I also don't remove my makeup after that long work day where I've probably been sweating and like sure oils don't peek through but sweat does peek through um, and then like coming home I just want to sit and watch a TV show I don't want to go and remove my makeup or take a bath I just do that like at 10.45 at night. So I need my makeup to last a really long time. Especially if I'm wearing like a more dewy foundation like this. Like I don't know if this is going to last the entire time. But I'll probably do an update on Instagram to if I like this foundation or not. With, um, my Instagram is April underscore underscore V if you want to go check me out over there. Um, but like I was saying, this probably, I mean everybody likes it so it's got to be good. But this will probably be great for um, long days. Oh, and the spray is magical. Oh, I love that spray. It's like so perfect. I have the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist, and I love it. Because it does give this really nice dewy finish. But, there's always a but, it sprays like a freaking water jet. It's like, at you, like all at once, you're just like... Well, like, you feel like you've been, like, attacked by, like, like, a kid with a water, uh, with, like, a, uh, what, what are these? Water gun. I could not think of the word for some strange reason. 
Um, so this is the finished look. Um, I'm actually kind of liking the no blush look. Um, I'm not sure if I like the lip with the eyes, but I'll decide later if I want to wear it out or not. Well, that's in frame. Um, but yeah, it's looking really nice. I like the foundation. Um, the setting spray actually took away some of the powderiness from underneath my eyes from putting the e.l.f. powder underneath. Um, so I, I, I definitely will use that Urban Decay one again whenever I need, like, something long-wearing. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna go about my day. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do check-ins today. Just because it's already kind of late. I mean, it's almost 7 o'clock. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do any check-ins. But, um, most people say that this foundation is long-wearing, so I'll probably update you on Instagram, like I said, if it's long-wearing or not, so I'll just keep wearing it and see how I like it, but pretty sure I like it. Alright, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Again, my name's April, and I hope you like and subscribe. Bye! See you next time!